all right people welcome back welcome back to another video um today we are going to um show you the installation of easy goal so what is easy goal well i already shot this video the the problem is uh for some reason um nvidia decided to um change my microphone so it didn't record anything so we have to do it again but so what is what is easy goal well easy goal is a action slash plugin i made for streamerbot slash obs um to further and better support kovi so for people who use kovi um we all know that ugly donation um i'll pop it on screen here somewhere or not donation but um, that ugly um uneditable um well donation goal or valor goal the, the widget right the kofi widget for the goals um it's disgusting you cannot modify it you cannot do anything with it so what did i do well really simple i made a widget you can see right there now the amount is not correct i wish that was the case because that means we would have the goal but no um i need to reset this because i used this for a development of course the last couple of days so um yeah but this is actually what you're being able to get right now and with normal kofi support in streamerbot you're not able to do this so we made a widget a quick fast install widget by the way let me not forget to add that to get this up and running so let's just go right into the video and show you guys how it's done all right so uh we have this uh nice looking obs or uh, obs yeah we have obs right here on this side but we have our nice looking streamer bot right here um by the way a link down in the description to the kofi page to download the needed files um all we need is our pair of hands our glasses if you have them if you don't you're good and we need obs that's it so what we're gonna do and uh we don't need a lot of brain power for this because we did the brain power for you all right so what are we going to do really quick dirty because i already made like a video that was already way too long and um i have to redo it right now so this is going to be a, a quick install tutorial i may do a more extended video later on but i already released a widget and want to have this installation tutorial done so you guys can start using this um so once you download the, the file um you need obs open of course and you need your stream bot open now once we have this um there is a folder of course a zip folder called um uh fd easy uh, goal for uh, kofi um, you want to unzip that and you want to make sure the first thing you want to do is get this folder right take this folder right here and then you want to go to wherever you want to permanently keep this folder um to make your life a lot easier i mean you can keep it on your desktop but then if you decide to change it well you'll figure out what those what the hell is going on and um, if you're here from my uh, other videos like denny tts you know why you need to do this um so the first thing you want to do the first thing i want to do by the way hold on let me delete this yep let me delete that there you go save this you guys don't have to do that of course um so the first thing you want to do is you want to copy this entire folder go to your permanent folder where you want to keep it so in my case i have this obs folder with all my uh, my whole obs and this asset folder so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna open this asset folder take this one i'm gonna copy it Control c and paste it with the Control v if that doesn't work on windows 11 just make sure you can use these uh, Windows 11 has some weird issues with copy and pasting sometimes. Once you have this done, all you want to do is open this. Then you want to go into your um, streamer bot, click import, open the SB import, drag this sucker in there. Let me do one thing really quick, by the way, because it's going to mess up. 
Yep, I need to delete that. Thank you. Um, so again, import, drag it in there and click import. Yeah, okay. All right, so now this thing is imported. Now, there is a couple of things we need to do before it's going to work. Now, the first thing is I have to disable this one. You guys don't have to, I do. Um, the first thing is we have to go here to the Kovi, uh, the easy goal installer uh, action. Then we want to go here to the sub action right here. And we want to go and make sure that in here, all the raw ones, we want to do two things. Well, in this one, we have the only have to do one thing, but it already says it up here. Make sure you select web of socket five or it will not work. Yes. Uh, if you use WebSocket 5, the installer will not work. Uh, if you don't use, sorry. So if you use 4.9, the um, installer will not work. So really fast. If you have only um, WebSocket 5 installed and not 4.9, you should be good to go and you don't have to do this. But uh, we have to. So you want to click on the OBS RAW, go here to the drop down and select your V5 version. Okay. And you want to do that for all the raw ones. So let's do that really quick for all of them. And okay, the last one. Okay. Now save, just to be safe. Now, technically this one is good to go. We don't have to do anything here. Um, now there is one more thing we need to do before we can move on. What we need to do here is we go to commands. And you see this red command right there. You want to right click on it and enable it. Once you have this one enabled, of course, save. Why not always save it? Once you have this one done, saved, you want to get this out of the way for now. Just drag it over to a different screen or minimize it. Then we want to go here to OBS. What we're going to do in OBS, I want you guys to, of course, pay attention between the intermission and the NS Chem 2. Now we want to do here in a command, we want to do exclamation mark EG dash, or I think it's dash, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And then we want to do install. So this means, of course, easy go install. Then we want to go and hit enter. Now you see, we're, we're almost done. It's already installed. It's technically quotes almost working. So what did did is it uh, created a scene for you. So you didn't have to do all that. Um, it also automatically created the source for you too. And of course you can see there is some extra text in there. We may not want. So uh, what we want to do right there, we're just going to double click on it and you can just remove it and don't remove it too fast because you can see in case you do need support my uh, join link for discord is right there if you missed it in the purchase um thank you letter so i want to of course make this one 1500 i don't know why i think it's a nice number and then we hit okay and then of course to center it you can do like control d and voila it is done almost um, technically in OBS we are done. We don't have to do anything in OBS. Now we want to go to the alert itself. So now you can do two things with the installer. You can just disable it or even remove it because you, well, let me, you know what? Let me just, you guys can see I disabled it, but I'm actually just going to flat out remove it. We don't need that installer action anymore. Um, now what we need to do, we want to enable the, the, um, the FD easy goal for Kofi, so the actual widget. Now, there are a few things we need to do here, and I'm, if I go too fast, I am so sorry. I already shot this video once, um, and um, well, Nvidia wanted me to shoot it again, so here we go. So, what we're gonna do here, um, we want to go execute code with JSON, write to JSON, wanna go in here. Now, this is the part where I was like, okay, well, you want to make sure that you have it in a permanent folder, a permanent folder because we need this. So I did OBS. So we want to copy this link right here, the address, and then here before the, OB 
uh, slash donation goal, that part we want to remove. Now, if you already have a have it on the C drive, you technically don't have to copy and paste that part. But everything before that up to the C, you want to replace with your new location. I, I guess people will understand this part. That's all you have to do. Then you want to click compile and it should say completed successfully. If not, um, make sure to or leave a comment down in the description below or join the discord. All right. So we have that done. Um, now this part is if you have your own like alerts um, that are not coming from a third party website like uh, stream elements or stream labs. But uh, these are meant if you have alerts like this that are built inside of OBS itself. So, um, or in OBS itself, yeah, together with OBS and Streambot. So if you have alerts like that, then you want to pay attention to this. Uh, I will make a different video on this, by the way, so you don't really have to yet. Uh, I will make a different video on it. But it will technically, well, it's technically re really simple. So technically, if you have a donation alert, um, now I wrote it inside the donation. Oh my, sorry for the hiccups. I wrote it in the donation alert itself. So this is where the red text is. So if I take this, I wish you could open two windows though. Like right click, open in a different window. That would be great. Uh, maybe a nice stream about idea. So you can compare widgets like this. So you don't have to swap between widgets and widgets and widgets and widgets. Um, but yeah, so for example, you see here the red text and the green text. And it says here, make sure uh, you add your own donation alert between this line and the donation goal. So these two lines, I may actually make this one red. Um, but it's only counts for donation. Uh, alerts so you could technically run action and then put the don uh, the donation alert action uh, between those two but to make sure it completely works uh, you can go to the alert and you can add these two like the twitch at target and then um, the get amount then write to json make sure you have that set up too but you can just copy and paste it from this so that are these two um, and then uh, the here at the bottom you see the donation goal and you want to make sure to copy these ones too um, so that is and there between that you have your own alert but again it is only if you use a built-in uh, a custom built widget if not you can in technically skip this entire step all right now we're coming up to the last part now we had this one changed. All we have to do now is go to the red line and also change this directory right here. So if we're good and we didn't copy and paste anything else, that should be still there. Yes. So now all you have to do is click. All right. Um, and because we installed this, this is already set up. Keep that on the WebSocket 4. Again, I will update it because this camera should not be in your widget. But yeah, that's it. Now, if we test it, there you go. That's your widget right there. So let me get it on the big screen so you guys can see it. Hold on a second. There you go. So now if we test it again, so now it says 42 bucks and now I'm going to make it randomized between zero and a thousand. Why not a uh, thousand? And now we're going to do it again. Hit the trigger. There you go. Now your donation goal is working with Kofi integration completely customizable. You can customize this as whatever you want. It's that simple. There is nothing else you have to do. Now, of course, you can do one more thing because we also don't need this one anymore. The installer command. So technically what you could do is go here and also delete that command and there you go. Well, that is the Kovi installer widget guys. And um, it's that simple. Now, of course you can do really quick, really simple. 
Now, we have this scene, of course, but uh, yeah, okay. Well, we can now do add, add scene. So this is my intermission. Then we do the easy goal. Okay, bam, there it is. Now we have easy goal right there. And as you can see, it is the exact same as right there. Um, yeah. That was the fastest, simplest installation uh, I have ever made on this channel. And um, there you go. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video, guys. I hope this helped out. If not, make sure to drop into the Discord or leave a comment down below. Or, of course, you can go to my stream on the days on top here. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturdays, 8 p.m. CEST. Um, so that will be the, uh, the, the time from the Netherlands. If you want to convert it uh, to Amsterdam, of course, um, that's the best way to convert it to your own time if you want to. Um, and uh, yeah, you can ask me there too on twitch.tv slash freaksheep. And um, it's that simple. It's that simple. Now, what if? Here he comes. Now, what if I want to change the text right i want to change the text or i want to do anything else now if you're familiar with this system uh, this will not be a problem for you but there is so of course there are people that are new and that are probably going to do this what is obvious i would do the same thing i'm going to do studio mode oh it doesn't help never mind um yeah let's do that that are going to do this um, and and they're like, all right, well, I can just go here, right? And um, okay, well, keep it on this then, right? And uh, well, I can just go up here and just remove, for example, the goal, right? I, or I will say like, well, well, I don't want the goal up there. I want to, I want to have the goal up here, right? Um, and or we can want to do want uh, uh, let's say PC upgrade, right? We want to have this. And then uh, I'm just going to reset it here, right? And then uh, what, what, what my PC upgrade will be? Well, let's say, um, I don't know. We can use, we can do it this way, by the way, but we could also just do that, for example, to make it fancier, right? 5,000. Um, and uh, then, the, the, then, then we get the following problem. Then the first donation comes in and like, shit, what the hell happened? What happened? What just happened? Right? Well, it's really simple. You don't want to do it up here. If you want to change your text. So let's say uh, we want that PC upgrade, right? So we can put this in zero. And we want that PC upgrade. Um, so we, what did we say? 5,000, right? Um, and then we do like PC up great now we all know this is not gonna work it's nice until the first donation comes in of course now let me do it like this so it's on the first uh, the bigger screen so yeah at the moment we do we we have this we change it nice we do the first donation and oh my god shit now we cannot go all over again this is not what i wanted um yeah so also, by the way, if you're like, wait, we reset this to zero, but um, we have between one and a thousand, so how can it be 1900? That is the part I will get to at the last to uh, show you guys how you can reset the entire thing. But in the meantime, if we want to have a new goal, uh, you have to do it over here. So you want to go into your uh, Kovi widget your easy goal widget, you want to go to the text and this is where you want to change that. So we did this and I'm just going to do smart. I'm just going to do this. Bam. I'm going to copy this part because this is the important one. The, um, the percent get amount percent. That is the one you want to keep. So this one, and we're going to paste it right there and we're going to remove this. Take that. Bam. Now, if we get a new um, donation, there you go. Now it does that. But um, 
what if I want to reset it? But this is the last thing I'm going to show you guys because actually we're done. It's working. Now all I want to show you guys on, on how to reset this completely. So for example, your major goal, right? Um, you have your goal done and you're like, okay, well, let's start a new goal. And then um, it just counts up from there. Yeah, we don't want that. So all you have to do is you go into your folder, uh, right? Your um, your folder with the JSON file. All you want to do, and I'll probably make later on a um, command that will reset the JSON file for you guys. Uh, that will probably be in the next update because there are some things I still want to do with it. Um, but yeah, all you want to do, you want to open the JSON file, select these two, remove, and save. Keep these two in there. If you accidentally remove that by accident, it will not work. It will throw an error. So make sure you have that in there. Like so. You can keep that uh, space in there, by the way. But I always like it clean. It will do it automatically for you. Now, if we do this. There you go. See? Now it resets. Um, of course. Of course. I've got one. Of course, then you have to update it in the title, right? But I guess this part's, I guess you guys understand it, right? The, the reset part, so for example, I reset it to zero, right? Let me get it over here again. Uh, let me open the file. So uh, this is annoying. So I reset it to zero. The problem is it will still stay here. So that is the only thing you can reset in the widget part itself. So this is the only thing you can change in here to zero, bam. Because now we'll count off from zero. Um, I hope this makes sense. If this did not make any sense to you guys, please, please let me know down in the comments or um, join the Discord or on stream. Um, Again, my name is Flocker Design, aka Freak Sheep, and um, this is Easy Go for Kovi. Hope you all enjoy, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.